Hello again everyone, this is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart. It has been about a month since I've done an Asian update and in this Asia update video I'm going to take a look at China's Shanghai Index, the Shenzhen Index, Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index, and India's Nifty 50. So stay tuned. All right, we're going to start off here with uh, China's Shanghai Composite. And let me get rid of the crosshairs. So it's been about a month. So we were back over here. I was really expecting this to break the trend line. And I think the last time I did this was on the 23rd. So where's that? Right here. I was expecting it to come down and break the trend line here. And it, it made a, a shot at doing it the very next day. Uh, but then it bounced back. Now I still think that this is kind of a corrective type action going on. We've got a close of the Friday close in uh, in China was uh, below the 10 day moving average. And that's the first close since back here on June 24th. Now we need follow through. We need a second one and then a break of the low to have some indication that we are rolling over. Uh, but it looks like the first possible break to get the move to the downside. Let me zoom back out of this and you can see what we're talking about. I'll look at the weekly here uh, and um, there we go. Uh, this is the weekly picture. Here's the peak all the way back uh, the week of the ending June 12th, 2015. And I believe we're doing an A, B, C, W, X, Y that we're working that. And so for that Y to play out, we have another A, B, C that I think is working to the downside. And uh, so that's the picture I've got on the uh, China, China Shanghai Composite. Let's take a look at the Shenzhen. Now, what is the Shenzhen? For those of you not familiar with it, it is kind of the equivalent of the NASDAQ in China. It has a little more high-tech stocks in it. So it's the same type picture, actually the same labeling I've got on the Shenzhen. This one, uh, again, is also closing below the 10-day moving average for the first time uh, since back here on June 14th. So a little bit longer because uh, the break here on the 24th never closed below the 10. So now, again, we need some follow-through. Take a look at the uh, indicators. You know, we've coming off of being over above 70 on the RSI. Uh, not showing major divergence in here, but it does look like we're kind of breaking down. Uh, take a look at the uh, demand index. Now the demand index is showing a little bit more of divergence, divergence between these two peaks and then here. And what are those? So that's kind of the move here and here. But really it's this, it's this move that I'm more concerned about. It's this last leg that I'm more concerned about. So if you kind of, to make that a little bit clearer, I'm really talking about, there we go. The move from this peak out over in here, you could see the demand index, which incorporates volume into the calculation, uh, did not move to new highs on that. Uh, so it's going to be real interesting. Now I'm expecting this to pull back down. This looks very corrective. Why do I say it looks very corrective? It looks corrective because all of these waves are overlapping. Okay. All right. So that's the Shenzhen on a daily basis. And if we go to the Shenzhen on a weekly, uh, bigger picture looks very similar to the, uh, to the Shanghai Composite. Now see when I talk about corrective and that it was overlapping, this is impulsive, okay? The waves are not overlapping. A very strong move to the high side, okay? And so this is where I'm looking for this to come down and break this, uh, this trend line. So that's the two uh, mainland China. Let's take a look at the Hang Seng Index. Uh, the Hang Seng Index, I'm also looking for to, to come down. It's been rallying here lately. Uh, what is this? Uh, June 24th. So, the last month that you know since I did a uh, uh, a an update, uh, it has it pulled back, but then it kind of rallied here. But you know, kind of rallied. It did rally over the last several weeks. Now I am expecting this to pull back down also because that's just the way this wave count looks to me. Uh, let me see if we're getting any divergence on here. We are on the RSI. So when you look at that at that peak, let me get 
let me get the volume down a little bit. So when you look at this peak here, and here's the RSI peak. I use a 10-day RSI, by the way. Uh, so we did not go to a higher high on the RSI, not confirming this move in here. And the demand index looks very similar uh, also uh, in here. So that's I'm looking for this to pull back down now. Now, we don't have a close here on the Hang Seng below the 10 like we do on the, like we just looked at the Shanghai and the Shenzhen. But uh, let's take a look at the weekly, and you'll see the, uh, the picture that I'm looking at. Okay, this is the big... The, the, here's all the trading I've got on the Shang, uh, on the Hong Kong Hang Seng all the way back to 1982, which is the big bull market move that's happened. And it's happened in our stock indices also. Uh, we've had five primary waves up. And now I believe we're in major corrective mode here. The, the whole 2008, uh, 2007 to 2008 decline. And this is very counter trendish. This entire rally uh, that, that's been going on for the last several years, six years or so, uh, into this peak, into 2015. And now I believe the reason why I'm not labeling this ABC is because I think this is an impulsive wave to the downside. I'm expecting this to be a wave C down. And if it's a wave C down, I'm looking for five waves. Okay, And so that's why I'm counting this the way I'm counting it in terms of intermediate wave one, two, pull back, minor wave one and two of intermediate wave three to the downside. So let me pull back out of this. So when I look at this, you know, this is what I'm expecting to happen. And that it will kind of do this and kind of do this and keep and come on down. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's see, that's the that's the Hong Kong Hang Seng Index. And so the last one we'll take a look at today is India and the Nifty 50. Uh, is this the daily? Yes, it is. All right, let me zoom in on this. And I'll go back to the weekly and look at the bigger picture. Okay, so this is this is in a solid uptrend. And it has been. I've been talking about that for uh, you know a long time now. Uh, here's back. Here's where the last time we did an update. And so, you know, I was very bullish, still continuing, the, expecting this to continue to move to the to the upside, and it has continued to do so. So now, as we look at this, I'm just like, okay, one, two, three, looks like a solid, you know, like maybe a consolidation sideways here. Uh, so still looking for maybe another move to the high side that would complete this fifth wave in here and third minute wave. So what we're trying to do is complete a series of five waves. So we have intermediate wave four here. And so here's one, here's two. And what we're trying to do is complete three. Three seems to be, you know, breaking down, chopping. Uh, but right now, you know, it just it just, just keeps subdividing, uh, but still trending, you know, up. Still trending higher like that. All right, so let me take a look at, so that, right now looks like it continues to track just fine. And let's take a look at the weekly chart so you can put that all in perspective. And where are we here? There's India. There we go, India Weekly. All right, so here's the big picture. And notice how the, it's, it's within parallel lines. Primary wave one uh, coming off of a bottom here in 1998. Uh, and uh, very strong vertical move. Then we get this pullback, a lot of choppiness going on. I don't believe that that completed until back over here in 2003. Then we get this very strong vertical impulsive move to the high side in, in primary wave three, pullback in four. And notice how when you draw the trend lines between two and four, make a parallel line, look how this whole action fits in here very nicely. Uh, and four came right back down, actually penetrated a little bit below that trend line, but seems to have gotten support. So what I'm expecting is that we are in this fifth primary wave up and that we are in the fifth intermediate wave. So this is the final wave up in here. And then we're going to get major corrective action on India, which is exactly what we're expecting on the United States indices also. So this is uh, this is a very interesting picture. Uh, and this is what we're looking at when I looked at on the daily chart and uh, 
and why we are expecting this to continue higher. And looking for five waves, that's what we're looking to count. All right, that's the picture on um, the Asia update uh, for this week. So if you like this video, hit the like sign and uh, share the video. Remember to share the video. And if you're not a, a subscriber, hit the subscriber button. That way you'll get notifications of future videos coming out. Hey everyone, this is Joe again. I uh, want to introduce you to something over on my website. When you go to my webpage, which is uh, joehenches.net, uh, you'll see that this is the menu across the top here. The blog posts are right here on the home page. If you click under products, there's Power Swing Trading Course and an ebook. Let's look at the course real quick. It's called Power Swing Trading Course. And uh, I do believe that if you are new to technical analysis and you want to learn a lot more about it, or if you've been doing it for a while and you would like to brush up and get some insight on various aspects of it uh, and the things I talk about in my videos, I think this course will be very beneficial to you. So let me just really show you uh, briefly what's in the course structure. We have eight modules in here. There's over nine hours of instruction. There are lots of charts. So if you like what you see on the videos, you're going to like the charts that I use. The same exact setup. Everything is the same in terms of the way I use them in, this, in these modules in the instruction. The first four modules are all about charting and understanding what's in the chart patterns. But you, I also get into quite extensively an introduction to Elliott Waves, talking about technical indicators, introduction to options if you're interested in options, and then, of course, trades, trade setups, and managing the trade. All of this for $397. I believe it's one heck of a bargain for well over nine hours of instruction. And then if you were to become a member, members get 40% off of that. So you could also check out the membership there. Uh, I believe it's a, a, a great deal. All right, wanted to make sure you are aware of that. Again, it's over at the website, and here's the homepage, and this is joehenches.net or beyondthechart.com. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.